we're taking this extremely seriously, but we're going to continue to engage responsibly and constructively uh, within, with the government of India. Reaction out of Ottawa Tuesday after India told Canada that it wants 41 of its roughly 60 diplomats out of the country by next week as a dispute between the two deepens. The Financial Times was first to report New Delhi's new demand. We're not looking to escalate, as I've said. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says Canada needs diplomats in India to help navigate what he calls this extremely difficult time. Relations between Canada and India took a nosedive after Trudeau's bombshell announcement last month in the House of Commons saying there were credible allegations of Indian government involvement in the killing of Hardeep Singh Nijar, a Sikh independence leader who had been wanted by India for years. The 45-year-old Canadian citizen was gunned down in June outside the BC temple he led. India has dismissed the allegation as absurd. In moments of tensions, because indeed there are tensions between both our government, more than ever it's important that diplomats be on the ground. And that's why we believe in the importance of having a strong diplomatic footprint in India. Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie says the conversations are ongoing with India. According to the Financial Times, citing an unnamed source familiar with the matter, India had threatened to revoke the diplomatic immunity of diplomats who remain after October 10th. Less than two weeks ago, New Delhi said it wanted parity in the number and rank of diplomats each nation posts to the other. Canada has a much larger diplomatic presence in India, due in part to the fact that it's a country of 1.4 billion people, compared to 40 million in Canada. Melissa Duggan, City News.